welcome to another Zero tutorial. My name is Samuel Burmeister and I'm the owner here at Tor Books. Recently, Zero has updated their navigation, which has sparked a lot of conversation, good and bad. So here I am today to try and dispel some of the confusion and show you where things are now, but also just to give you a few of the tips that I use personally that can help you avoid a lot of the use of these um, upper toolbars. So let's get started. Firstly, settings has now moved underneath the name of the business. So I'm in the demo company. You'll see here, if you were using the files inbox, that's now located here, along with the settings. Your dashboard has remained the same and will look very familiar. You can still access your banking by clicking into the bank accounts or the reconcile button. Keep in mind, a lot of the banking functionality can always be accessed via the three dots. So if you click on the three dots, you can view the account transactions, bank statements, or process to spend or receive money, for example. Cool. The next step is through feedback, Zero have developed a way to combine a lot of the things that are used in Zero um, under either a business purpose or an accounting purpose. So business is mainly designed for the person running the business. You'll see this is where you can send out your invoices, quotes, and look at an overview. These all live under the same area, the invoices, quotes, and sales anyway, as do the bills to pay, purchase orders, and purchases overview. So historically that was under accounts. Now you've got three for each accounts receivable and accounts payable. You can also access your expense claims here if you use them. And products and services has replaced inventory. So that's very important to note. Accounting. This is where you can access things that often someone like myself, a bookkeeper, an accountant would use, but also you might want to look at the bank account section through here instead of clicking in on the dashboard. You can view all your reports, um, any of your advanced settings here as well. Have a look through. This is where a lot of this will be to do with the actual accountant, but any advanced settings are now under accounting as well. The idea is most business owners wouldn't need to access these very often, so they've removed them from the normal area. Um, also here, something to note is the favorites. So you can see that if you favorite a report, it will sit here, and you just click the star next to a report to do that. That hasn't changed. Okay, payroll, pretty much the same. The only main difference here is that pay run um, or enter pay run has been changed to pay employees, just to simplify the name, I guess. Uh, besides that, everything but payroll settings is still here with payroll settings living under your settings here. Projects is one of the new functionality in Xero that you can utilize if you choose to, and contact still remains with its separate tab. So besides that, one thing I will show you, navigating back to the dashboard, if you want to create a transaction, don't waste time going into one of these menus. Just hit the plus up the top right. This quick create button allows you to create new transactions like invoices, bills, new contacts, quotes, POs, a journal if you're an account or bookkeeper, and you've also got your spend, receive, and transfer monies. The other handy tool that I love to use is the magnifying glass. So it's not letting me use it because we're in the demo file, but if you click that in your file, type in the name of a supplier or an account, and you will very quickly be able to pull up the history of that supplier or contact and find what you're looking for. There you go. So that's the overview of the new layout. Any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if it's helped you out and subscribe for future information.